Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Demonte, bringing you a banger. Don't forget to follow on my Twitch, please. This is where we have daily content. Hey, what's up, everybody? New build video here. This is for the MP7, also known as the SG Compact 7. As for the weapon itself here, let's go to the customize options. I've got the LED. Oops, that's not the right gun. Let's go to the right gun. I've got the LED RDS, which is the red dot sight. Next, I have the snub suppressor or silencer, I should say. This one, do notice, where minus is damage distance. This one does not minus damage distance. So that's the reason why I went for this choice over the other one. As for the magazines, you can always go for quick pull. You can always go for extended. You can always go for the compact. The only real reason you'd go for the for the uh, for the quick pull here is that it gives you a magazine capacity. So I'm actually going to go ahead and throw that on there. Next, we have the stock. There's a couple of options for the stocks here. I was waiting for the last one, so therefore I haven't placed any stocks. But as an example, this one's got some good recoil and stability, but it does minus some of the handling. It's just some of the things you have to notice when placing on these uh, modifications. And then lastly, we have a grip. This one is for the overall spread and horizontal recoil, while this one's for hip firing and vertical recoil. It's just a, you know, it's just an opinion here. You, you may like this one more, so choose that one. As for secondary weapons, I am using the Model 11, but that does not mean you guys have to use the Model 11. I'm using the parted compensator with it. I'm using the LED RDS red dot. And as for the grip, I did not go for any of them at the moment. I'm still waiting for the last one. Now moving on here, for deployables we have the armor bag, for the overkill weapon we're using the grenade launcher, I am personally going to be using the medium ballistic 3 stack armor, and you could also go for the 4 stack armor. For throwables I'm using grenades and mines, and let's go ahead and get into the skills for the build here. As for the medic skill tree we just grab medic, then we grab ammo specialist pairing it together with plate up. Then we grab things like mower, suppressive fire, ammo funnel, and replenish paired together with sprint reloader so that we have a big consistent mag that's filled and then if we do have to reload we can just sprint. Next we have tank ace so therefore we get grit when my armor breaks. Here we have extra plates so my armor bag has six armors instead of two. And then lastly, we grab Armor Up, pairing it together with Last Man Standing. Armor Up is meta in this, you know, in, inside of Loud, Armor Up is meta. But grabbing Last Man Standing with Tank Aced will grant you 10 seconds of invincibility almost every time. And I guess they've changed it. It says you'll stay on your feet and immune to damage for 4 seconds. So they've actually changed this. Next, they have Sharpshooter, which is Give Myself Edge. And then I also have the Armor Penetration skill. Next, I'm grabbing the Escapist for Rush. I'm also grabbing the Enforcer for Grit also. Then I'm going down here to Gunslinger so that when I do pull out my secondary weapon, I can have more damage with it. And this one was mostly just to unlock some stuff. So obviously you can switch this one into anything that you want. And I just realized Transporter is part of the game finally. So this might be something that you want to check out. Getting multiple bags at once being able to throw bags farther, or being able to just pick up a body or pick up a bag and go faster naturally. Other than that, the only place other than where I had just mentioned that I'd place this skill is somewhere up here. Possibly ADS scope speed, possibly disengage. There's a couple of good options here. I think I'm gonna go with disengage for the last point. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave me a like. I know this was a real short video, but recently I had broke my finger and uh, haven't been really able to play any games recently. But with that being said, this is somewhat old footage of Payday 3. As you can see inside the footage, the last man standing skill when it triggers, it lasts 10 seconds because the new version only lasts 4. So I do apologize that it's old footage, but I am currently injured, and I will try my best to make it back when I can. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you.